today we are going to be doing this bun, this messy bun. I'm not sure if it's even a messy bun. It's like a messy bun, but it's a pretty bun. It's a going out bun. It's a whatever you want bun. It's a messy bun that doesn't look like you just threw your hair up in a bun to drop the kids off from school bun. I love this bun. It's so pretty. It's one of my most go-to buns these days um, because I love the way it looks. So let's do it. There was some very essential prep that went into getting my hair ready for this style today. First of all, I have blow dried my hair with volumizing mousse this morning. So today I use the Amica uh, Plus Size Perfect Body Mousse and using a volumizing mousse in your thin fine hair is just going to give your hair a lot of lift, a lot of oomph and give it a lot of much needed texture to help it hold the volume you want in a style like this one. The next thing I did was I did also add a bunch of this Design Me Puff Me Volumizing Texture Powder and I just went through and did all of that in my roots and that's just going to two times that texture and volume and lift and make your hair a lot more cooperative and easy to work with when it comes to creating these up styles. Your hair won't be as touchable, meaning it's not going to feel as smooth and silky and soft and you might not like the way it feels with all those products in it. But we're putting our hair up today so touching your hair is really not the most important thing so for this bun we're going to do a bang so we're going to leave the front pieces of our hair out so first we're just gonna figure out what we want to leave out obviously having shorter hairs um, chin length or shorter is going to be more conducive of leaving the hairs out like this but you can absolutely leave longer hairs out if you like the way it looks or you can just throw all your hair back with this look as well all right so now we're just going to brush everything that we want in the bun up don't worry about it being too neat we don't actually want it perfect but we do want all the hair going in the same direction that's why I'm using a brush because with all that products it's a little tricky to just get in there with my fingers but once we've got it I'm actually gonna loosen everything a bit I'm gonna let it soften in my hand so that it's not too tight I'm gonna use one of these hair ties I do have these hair ties um, linked in my Amazon storefront they're super gentle on our really fine hair and I'm gonna give that three times around just like that I'm gonna give it a little tug and then I'm gonna spread this all out around the hair tie like so. Now the hair tie I'm gonna to use to create the bun is a tiny hair tie. This one is like a child size kind of regular hair tie. You can use a bigger one. It's just, I find it easier if you don't need to wrap the hair tie around the hair too many times. The more you have to wrap the hair tie around, the trickier it's gonna get and the more likely you are to get stuck in your hair or anything like that. So a smaller one works better if you're only gonna to have to wrap it once or twice. So you're gonna take this hair, you're gonna lightly grab it in your fingers. So I just have my fingers stuck in the hair. I'm not grabbing onto the ponytail that's in the middle. I can feel it, but I'm not gripping it. Just have my fingers in and I'm gonna kinda of lift the hair up, okay? I'm gonna pick it up just a bit before I grab it with my other hand and get this hair tie on top. That's just going to have more volume. If you don't do that, this little guy is going to be a lot smaller. And then I'm just going to pull him apart just like that. And then you're going to be left with these ends and you're just going to kind of figure out where you want them to go and you'll just pin them. I don't pin them super neat because I'm going for a messy look, but you don't have to go for as messy of a look if you don't want to. You can pin them more neatly. Totally your call. So I'm just going to fuss with the bun until I like the way it looks. And don't forget, you can pull it in all different directions. You don't just have to pull it in one direction. And the different ways that you pull it are going to create different shapes. Now I'm going to pull at my base a little bit, so that's grabbing the hair close to the bun and pulling that hair that's against your head looser so it's more space between your hair and the head, and that is going to make it look fuller and softer and less sleek, more messy. Um, the more you pull at everything, the more messy it's going to look, so you know, you decide how you want this to look. This last step, totally up to you. I'm gonna give my bangs a little whirl with the flat iron just to create this shape. 
a little bit of a curl. Perfect. And then what I like to do is hold the hair like this, add a little bit of my texture powder. I'm just going to keep it there while that hair cools down. And there we go. Once it's cool, it looks adorable. It was super easy to do. You don't need a lot of hair to make this look really pretty. Love this bun. Super easy to do. Always looks really pretty. Definitely like a cross between a pretty going out bun and a messy bun. Um, but I still like to make it messy because that way I don't have to worry about making it look perfect. So I hope that helps. I hope this gives you another bun to try in your fine flat hair that doesn't look so fine or flat at all. Hit that like button because it really helps me out. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I do post three every single week. Let me know in the comments which of my buns is your absolute favorite because I know everybody has a favorite. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Bye.